Hey guys, welcome back to the 4x2 Wagon Family and today Hi. we are up here skiing at the Soda Springs Resort. And I know how to ski all by myself right now. She's doing really good. So the purpose of this video is I want to share with you guys the best way to teach your four, five, six year old how to ski. I know a lot of parents out there are wondering um, or they, they might not understand how difficult it is to teach a small kid like Isabella how to ski. So I'm gonna share with you guys some tips and tricks and some tools you guys will need to make your first day on the hill a successful successful day with your new kid. All right, so, so we're on a chair right now and this is Isabella's third day. Yes. Third day on the snow. Mm -hmm. uh, the first two days, uh, I forgot my tool. Let me show you guys what I've been using. So what you want to do is go on Amazon and buy one of these called Edgy Wedgy. It's basically like a little C-clamp with a rubber, with a bungee on each end. And what they do is they snap onto the front of your skis so that they keep the tips together. So uh, that's gonna make your day really enjoyable. Now, first time starting out, what I highly, highly recommend number one is make your kid do the least amount of work as possible because they're small, they get tired. The ski boots and skis are very heavy. So so make your child do the least amount of work as possible. That means you, you mom and dad, gotta do a little bit more, you know, extra work. Uh, it's gonna make your day, I think, much easier uh, so then they don't get fatigued so quickly, okay? So put on the boots, don't teach them how to walk, don't teach them too much stuff. All you guys need is this edgy wedgie and then simple principle of spreading their feet apart as wide as they can because the key to stopping and turning and slowing down, controlling your speed, uh -huh. is really gonna be making a triangle, huh? Or a pizza. Or a pizza shape. And make the chips together but not like... Not that. like a french fry. So yeah. if you guys remember back in the day, we used to use the term snow plow and a lot of kids don't understand what a snow plow is. So using the words like triangle or pizza or french fries, you know, might make a whole lot more sense to these little kids. Okay, so again, the key to slowing down, stopping, and turning is a wedge or a pizza or a triangle with the skis. Now, oh, it's I really hard that. for young kids to keep their tips together and the heels apart, so that's the key. But if you have one of these edgy wedgies, it's gonna make it so much easier. Like then, and then all you gotta do is tell your kids to spread your feet apart and have them follow you. Uh, if you can ski backwards, that's great. If you have a little tether in the back of their, you know, for backpack kind of a tether, that's also great. There's just a lot of different ways to uh, help a kid out. But if they can spread their feet apart, they can stop and turn on the very first day on the chair. Go. So this goes right over the tip. If your ski has this plastic uh, tip on the ski, just put it on top of that plastic. And nice and tight, there we go. Dad, I'm sleeping. So once you get these edgy wedgy, the tips on, uh, you don't want to make the kids walk. You just drag them out to the hill where the slope starts because then it could potentially pop off. Okay, make a big triangle. And then... you follow mommy. Go nice and slow. Okay, slow down. Okay, come on, let's go over here, baby. Okay, slow down, too fast. Slow down. There you go, good. Okay, slow down a little bit. Good job, control your speed. Okay, come on, come over here. Come over here. Over here more. Over here more. Keep coming. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down, baby. You got it. Good. Wow, look at you. Okay, go and stop. Stop. All right. Okay, so 
you guys just saw in that video, it's all about making the kids split the feet apart. That edgy wedgy kept the tips together. And the boy makes um, like a small french fry this big. Mm -hmm. um, you can go fast. Yeah, so if you want to go fast, you make a french fry. Yeah, if you want to so, go slow, um, you make a so, what? So um, make sure you make a pizza. Pizza. You heard her. Okay, let's go on a chair again. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. But anyways, the key here is um, put a lot of miles between you and your kid. Make sure they get a lot of runs in. Um, and really, all you got to do is, if you, you know, let, let them hold your ski pole uh, off to the side. That's one technique. I oftentimes uh, ski backwards and they can hold your poles that way. Uh, one thing, the most important thing is that when they're, if you're, if they're leaning on your pole, make sure you drop your pole. You don't want the kid to put all the weight on your pole. So if you feel like they're putting the weight on your pole to get some support or because they're scared, just drop your pole, like let it go so that they're balancing under their own weight, okay? And their own ski, under their own foot. You're not pulling them up so that they don't fall. If they fall, they fall. Let them fall down, that's really important. It's a, it's a learning process. So don't be afraid of a kid falling. Make sure you have a good helmet and make sure that all helmets are MIPS certified. Every helmet that's MIPS certified has a sticker in the back. So make sure you guys go pick out a good helmet. Again, it's MIPS. Let me show you guys what that looks like. Uh, it's right, yellow sticker right there, MIPS. What, the, what that is, uh, sorry, got a little sidetracked here from an equipment perspective. The helmet inside the liner, it actually moves around. So if she was to hit, let's say a ski tower with her head, uh, so the helmet, the plastic would take the blunt of the force, but the, the liner inside actually kind of moves to absorb it so that um, it minimizes the impact and they don't get concussion. All right. So we're gonna keep continuing this uh, practice on the slope. And um, so yeah, let's keep going. Ready? Yes. Okay. Let's subscribe. Bye. Hey, do you have anything to say? Do you want to say anything to everybody? <laughs> no? Okay. Are you having a good time? Mm -hmm. Oh, and make sure you guys pack some good snacks in your pockets, like candy. Yeah. Candy is really a good way to uh, keep these kids motivated, huh? Yeah. yeah. And bring some goldfish. Goldfish, for sure. So if we look at this... Uh, father daughter right here one of the reasons why they're having a hard time is because she can't make a triangle and that's where that edgy wedgie comes in so you might ask well how long should your child be in the edgy wedgie that's a good question well that all depends on your child it's, it varies uh, so this is her first time using this edgy wedgie uh, the two prior times that yeah. we've been up here um, we didn't have one actually we did have one but it broke so this is her first day using it how many runs have you made so far? Like five runs? No. With the edgy wedgy. No, it's two. No, well, no, I think we made about five runs with this no. edgy wedgy. And I can see it in her that um, that she can make the wedge all by herself. So I think we're gonna try maybe the next run without the edgy wedgy. Well, I don't want we'll see. Okay. So depending on your, on your child and their athleticism, you know. Uh, they might catch on really quick uh, and also one of the we can talk i'll talk more about the equipment later but make sure you put them on the smallest skis possible like she's um she's four she'll be five here next week uh, she's on a pair of 110 skis and i think these are actually <coughs> a little bit too long i wish i would have got her a 90s uh that would have made it i think way easier so think about your equipment don't buy too big thinking that oh it'll last a couple of years if you guys do that, your kid will, um, the learning curve will be much longer and they're gonna hate it. So buy the right size boot and uh, small skis. If you guys come up to Soda Springs, not the boots and skis strong. are included in the season pass. But also REI has a, um, like a youth program where you feed, after, you, after the season, you return it, and then you get a new one for next year. So they give you a credit. So don't buy things that are too big, thinking that it's I want this to last a couple of years. That's the wrong so way of thinking it when it comes to skiing for your little one. Okay. All right. So let's go down and see if you can do it with that. Yes, you have some candy. Oh yeah, candy definitely a good motivator.
Okay, so uh, also when you guys are on a chairlift, it's a really good idea to talk about, well, you know, chairlift right safety. Now? So she really wants to ride the chairlift by herself, and I, I think she can do it, but she's got to be able to get off all by herself. So let's see how she does. Ready? Yes, One, two, I three, did. push off, go, push off. <laughs> good job. I give you a little push. So you know what that means? You're not ready yet uh, to ride the chair by yourself. Here, give me a hand. You gotta, to ride a chair by yourself, you gotta be able to uh, get off all by yourself. Okay? Super slow. Good, I like that. Good okay, follow mommy. There you go. This is a good example of this is what you typically typically see is parents with a strap behind the kid, uh, controlling the speed rather than letting the kids do all the work. And that's why the wedgie edgy is so important because you the kids really do do all the work when they have the right equipment, and it makes the parents' job so much easier. Okay, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna go to the terrain park with Coco. Okay. No, it's not. Go! He says first train park. Go slow. Woohoo! That's a slow, he says. Go slow. Slow down, slow down. Good. Good job. Woohoo! Go slow. This kid is like fearless, man. Okay, make a bigger triangle, bigger triangle. <laughs> Woohoo! Is that fun? <laughs> It's okay. It's I okay. Hurt. Okay, good. Oh, your hands cold? Mm, okay. Mm, let me. Yeah, here. Yeah, because your, your hand here. Put your hand on my shirt, okay? Stay warm. There you go. There. There. Yeah, because when you fall without gloves on, you feel the snow. It's hard. It's like sandpaper. You did so good, Coco. That was fun until you crashed, huh? <laughs> Give me five, dude. Good job. One, two, three, go. Oh no, it's okay. It, okay. It's okay. okay. I got the ski, I got it. Just keep going, man. Yeah, walk out, baby. <laughs> oh no, no we're not. You're gonna ski on the control.
Okay, French fries, go all the way around the lift, the chair lift. Keep going, keep going, baby. Come on, French fries. Alright guys, so the main point of this video is get yourself this ski tip. I call it the edgy wedgy. Uh, I'll leave a link down below you know, so you guys can get this on Amazon. Uh, one thing to know, a lot of these edgy wedgies have a plastic or a, like a washer where the screw is right here. Let's see, can you guys see this? So a lot of edgy wedgies has a little flat surface under that screw that screws on. Uh, what I highly recommend is take that off and throw it away and take that screw and let it bite right into the ski tip so that it doesn't come off. Uh, we tried this earlier and it's kept coming off. So that's the key is remove that little plastic tip, flat tip on the edge of that thread. All right, so get yourself one of those. And then all, all you gotta work on is asking your kid to spread the skis apart, make a triangle. And mostly when you guys go coming down the hill, try not to teach so much. Uh, maybe 1% of the run, you guys can maybe emphasize on keeping the feet apart, you know, whatever. But keep, let the kids ski, get some miles in. The more you guys teach, the more they're gonna get uh, uninterested. Hold on a sec here. So that's really all there is to it, to teaching a kid, a four, five, six, six year old how to ski Boy is Ted. less is more in this scenario. Isa, did you have fun today? Yeah. Come here. Do you want to say anything to, to anybody? I don't know. You, you don't know? I don't know. Like, what did you learn? Um, when you um, make your french fry, you go faster. And then what about going slower? I'm what do you do? A pizza. A pizza. All right, guys. Bye. See you guys, Captain. Get some, um, get some snow. <laughs>